Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new mod review where today we are taking a look at the Let Do Bakery mod. This mod offers brand new food items such as cakes, breads and other sweet treats along with some new crafting stations to help create all of the wonderful new foods. So um, if that sounds good to you then let's get right into this video. Alrighty, so let's get into this mod review then. So Dipper has kindly, you know, set up this whole picnic for me to show you everything this mod has to offer. And in return, we have to cook Dipper an epic meal. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, but anyway, let's uh, start off this mod review by talking about the new crops. Because these are really important. I mean, they allow you to craft most of the new food items in the game. So, first of all, you got the strawberry bush which is really similar to the uh, raspberry or the, what are they called? Like, yeah, the sweet berries. Yeah, so you collect them and farm them in a really similar way. So uh, it's basically a bush, so you don't have to break the crop to harvest it. You just right click it and you get it. It's really, really cool. But for oats, it basically works the same as wheat. So you will need to break it in order to collect it. Now you can find both of these crops in both of the new randomly generated structures as well as randomly throughout your world. Now I will get onto the structures a little bit later in this video but uh, yeah it's pretty pretty easy to find these things and yeah you just have to do a little bit of exploring. So for the new decoration blocks that these crops allow for are the bags blocks I like to call them and the oat blocks. So the bags are really simple to create. For the bag strawberries, it's just a nine by nine strawberry um, crafting pattern to craft it. And then for the oats, it's a bit different. Um, and it's actually a two by three or a three by two, however, <laughs> however you want to say it for the bag of oats. Now, to craft the oat bales, which also have their respective oat stairs and oat slabs, it's really simple, just nine by nine oats in a crafting grid and then with that block you can craft the rest um so yeah that pretty much uh, sums up the crops for the mod really simple really easy but uh, i also want to talk about the new storage items and also decoration items i guess these count as both um so these are the cabinet the drawer and the wall cabinet now these are super simple to create but they don't give you much storage as you can see so um, you can actually craft these in your normal, like, crafting, your your inventory crafting table. So you've got two oak planks and then two barrels will give you a cabinet. For the drawer, it's two barrels and two oak planks in this formation to give you a drawer. And for the wall cabinet, it's oak slabs instead and barrels to give you the wall cabinet. So really simple. Honestly, I think they're more useful as decoration blocks. But again, if you need a bit more, you know, storage in your house, these are perfect for you. So um, to kind of sum up the rest of the decoration blocks here, all the major decoration blocks, we got the street sign, which doesn't do anything. It does give you a really nice achievement. Really simple to craft, just some oak planks and paper. Um, yeah, really, really easy. And now for arguably my favorite decoration blocks in this mod pack, or not mod pack, this mod, is the iron table and iron chair. Now these are kind of expensive in my opinion, but you're able to sit on the chair and it looks freaking fabulous. I just love mods that allow you to kind of, you know, use the items for their intended purposes. And yeah, for a chair to be sat on, it's great. And you can actually place items and cakes and food on the table, which I will show you a little bit later when we get to cooking up some stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the crafting recipe uh, as well. Nothing too difficult, just a little bit, you know, a little expensive. So yeah, um, just make sure you have an iron farm, I guess. <laughs> um, so now we move on to the Wandering Baker, which I think has an absolutely amazing design. I mean, look at this guy. What a goated design. Uh, and yeah, he's trapped in barrier blocks, but essentially he just trades loads of random things just like the wandering trader for, you know, absurd amount of emeralds. So he's kind of useless, kind of, kind of, you know, he is what it is. He is what he is. But, you know, if you're in a pinch and you need some stuff, he's your man to go to. So if we go ahead and step on this, we get teleported to his basement 
No, I'm joking. We get teleported underground because my coordinates weren't quite correct. But here we go. This is one of the new um, randomly, uh, you know, generated structures called the bakery. And as I said, you can find the oats and stuff in these chests. Really cool. Really nice. And you can get loads of the new foods. You know, some rolling pins, some bread, some knives, pods, everything you need from this mod pack is basically in this room. So, yeah, if you just want a nice kickstart onto this mod, definitely find one of these because it'll give you everything you need. Now, I need to kill myself, so <laughs> bear with me. Ah, all right, cool. Nice. That that felt good. That was that was good. Yeah. Mm. Right, so the next things I want to talk about is the new, like, workstations, I guess, and, you know, workstations slash decoration blocks. So the brick oven is, you know, the big new kind of cooking um, utensil and station that you're going to be using. It's fueled by coal or charcoal or anything that you would normally use in a furnace. Um, and it has three slots, which are, you know, bespoke to crafting. Um, the new crafting recipes, which we'll get onto in a moment. Um, you can also put a cooking pot on top of this, um, which is right over here. So this cooking pot is crafted with four iron and a slab. Really easy. And what this allows you to do is, if you shift and right click, boom, you, you can put this cooking pot right on top. And it does have a use. So you can actually make jams in this mod. And this is how you make the jams. So you can put your jam jar in here. And then you put your uh, ingredients in here. And then it comes out in a jam. It's really cool. And it looks freaking awesome. I mean, with the cool particle effects and everything. Now, how you craft the brick oven is also really easy. It's just campfire, some stripped oak logs, brick, and iron. I think the hardest thing in this whole crafting recipe to get is bricks, because no one likes to mine up clay. But yeah, there you go. That's that. Um, I also will mention that you don't have to craft a brick oven or a brick version of any of these things. I'm pretty sure... Okay, it's just the oven. So yeah, the ovens have different variants uh, respective of their stone group. So you've got the stone bricks, you've got the cobblestone, etc. So this is actually really easy to create. Um, but I would go for the brick one because it stays in line with the design of, uh, you know, the rest of the blocks in this mod. So the next thing is the sink. Now, I don't know if I'm playing an update of the mod that is bugged. But for the life of me, I cannot get this sink to work. Now, it should have a tap and it should be able to fill up the sink, but I cannot get it to work. Um, and even when I spawn it in, it's kind of bugged. It looks like this, which it shouldn't. It should just be the top bit. So, yeah, I don't really know what's up with the... Uh, What's up with the sink? I think it's a little bit bugged, but I'm sure it will get fixed. Um, there's not much functionality for this apart from, I guess you can use it as a cauldron kind of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much the sink. And you craft it really easily with bricks and iron like so. Now, the crafting station and brick counter. Now, you know, this name might be alluding to the fact that you use it to craft things but you don't really um you just craft it using sugar surrounded by bricks and oak slabs i'm really actually happy that you know sugar is being used in such a creative way here in such a unique way to make this crafting station i really like this crafting recipe and uh yeah it looks pretty cool again brilliant decoration block but it doesn't really do much apart from allow you to place these objects and things on top of it for the brick counter, it's really simple again. Bricks and oak slabs, really easy to make. And uh, another cool decoration block. Now, I've already showed you the cooking pot. So let's move on to the jar. Now, the jar, as I said before, allows you to create some of the new jams in the mod. And uh, it's crafted with two glass panes and an oak slab. Really, really easy. Now, you can right-click it and it makes a glass breaking noise. But you get the jar and then you can place it down. No shift needed. Whereas you do need to shift when you pl pl uh, place down the small cooking pot. Now, for arguably my favorite block in this whole mod, it's the crafting bowl. I mean, look at this. Look at this freaking animation. How cool is that? I mean, it's really cool, and you use it to craft um, the new ingredients in a really unique way, which I think is brilliant. So it's really easy to craft oak slabs, iron, and a stick, 
really nice. We'll get on to using all of these things a little bit later as I'll be cooking a meal for Dipper over here. Um, but yeah, let's just move on to the new display cases or items in the game. So I'm going to run through these really quickly because they essentially all do the same thing. They hold food items and cakes and stuff so you can display them. So for the cake stand, you use bricks, not the block, just the item uh, with white dye and glass panes to get the cake stand. For the cake display, you use glass panes and wood, which is a really cheap uh, crafting recipe for a display item, honestly. I'm really happy with that. Um, and for the cupcake display, again, kind of tedious because it, you know, it needs iron nuggets, but still really easy to make. Really cool looking as well. For the wall display, now this is what I'm talking about. This is cool. Really easy crafting recipe and really, really nice um, kind of display block. For the tray, which goes well in like picnic scenarios as of, as we've got placed down there. Um, you know, really easy again, just oak and oak slabs. And for the bread box, you use sticks and oak slabs. You place only bread in there though, only bread. And for the chocolate box, you actually surround a chest with some chocolate. Now, I will admit this crafting recipe seems like a little bit of a cop out because it's just got a vanilla chest in there and then it turns into this tiny thing. But you know what? It's an easy crafting recipe and I'll show you how to make chocolate a little, a little bit later. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty epic. You can eat some chockies. Really cool. All right, so. One hour later. Ah, all right, it's about lunchtime. So I say let's cook Dipper that lunch he's been wanting. Now, I think he has everything we need in this chest, right? He's got his menu placed out. So he wants strawberry cake. He wants a sandwich and he wants a chocolate glazed cookie. Well, Dipper, I'm a chef you up some of that stuff. Let's go ahead and start with the chocolate glazed cookie, actually. So we need cake dough and we need chocolate spread. So Let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab our ingredients and, uh, let's cook this up. So we need some of this, some of this, yeah, some of that. Nice. All right, that's looking good. I'm just checking I got everything. Yeah, okay. Oh, jaw. All right, so first of all, I want to make the cake dough. So that's really simple. Just put some oats or wheat in here, some eggs, some sugar, some milk, and then, uh, go ahead and whiz that up. Nice, cool, cool, cool. So we got some cake dough. Gonna save that for later. We're also gonna load this cooking pot up with a bowl. We're gonna put some, nah, you know what? Let's use wheat. Let's use some sugar and cocoa bean. Maybe it's milk. Yeah, there we go, it's milk, not sugar. And that should give us chocolate. And then once that loads up we should be able to craft some stuff now i actually made a mistake before i said that this was just purely a a um like decoration block but it's not you use the caking station to assemble your cakes which i will show you in a moment so yes my bad for that but uh yes you use this to assemble the cakes which we're going to be doing Okay, cool. So our chocolate is now done. It has truffle in. I don't, I don't realize we actually put truffle in it, but we're just going to go along with it. It just magically has truffle in it now. And we're going to go ahead and now create some jam. So we're going to put this. We're going to put sugar in. We're going to put milk in. And now we're also going to put a jar in. And it should get us some chocolate spread. So I'll get back to you guys once it is made. All right, so the chocolate spread just got done. I just took it out of the cooking pot. Um, and yeah, now we go to the cake station to assemble our, what is it called? A chocolate glazed cookie. We're gonna, we're gonna assemble. So we put the cake dough on first and it looks like this really cool looking, it honestly looks like a chocolate cake right now. But to make it even better, we put the chocolate spread on it. And boom, look at that bad boy. Look at him. And uh, yeah, there we go. We get a chocolate cake. And I, I made that wrong. <laughs> I made that really wrong. We didn't get a cookie. I made cake dough. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> we made a chocolate cake. <laughs> Dipper, you're gonna like chocolate cake. I don't care. You're gonna freaking like it. Now, we're gonna put that one in there because uh, obviously he wanted strawberry cake, not chocolate cake. I'm sorry. Here you go. You can have this display. Uh, okay, or I can have it and you can just watch me eat it. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, it gives you the sugar rush ability, which I talked about in the intro. Really, really nice. 
But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and craft up the strawberry cake now. So I told you guys how to craft the dough and the jam is pretty much a similar kind of process. Just put strawberry and sugar in. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and cook that up. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Nice. And whilst that's cooking up, let's go ahead and make the sandwich. Now, I want to make my sandwich with a baguette. So a baguette may... So we need sweet dough, we need dough, and we need yeast. So sweet dough is basically the same as cake. Uh, it's, or cake dough, but you need water instead. So let's go ahead and grab this water. Go ahead and grab the, the milk and all of that good stuff. Oh, no. Sorry. My bad. Um, not milk. We need... Um, bowl. We need, uh, we need water instead. My bad, my bad. Alright, let's put all of this stuff in. And this should turn into dough, I believe. There we go. Nice, so we got sweet dough. Now we need to make normal dough. So normal dough is using yeast. To craft yeast, we actually do it in a normal crafting table. So we need sugar, brown mushrooms, and water. Um, we don't actually have a normal crafting table. Let's go ahead and grab one, shall we, Dipper? Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. So we grab water. We need the mushrooms. Shrooms. Give me your shrooms. There we go. Okay. Water, shrooms, and I believe it was sugar. There we go. We get 12 of yeast. We got an achievement for that, which is awesome. So let's put the yeast in there. Let's put the water in there. And I think it was sugar. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Sugar and boom. Nice. And let's mix that up. Did I do that wrong? Why is it not? Dough. Crafting bowl. Yeah, I'm sure I did that right, right? It doesn't want to mix. Oh, I'm missing the... I'm missing... You know what? Let's put oats in it this time. There we go. Okay, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> okay, I was so confused. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we got the dough. So we got the sweet dough with the dough, the yeast. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Perfect, and we're going to get our baguettes on the go. Let's check our jam. Boom. Our jam is doing just fine. Put our cake dough down put our jam down and did we make the right cake yes we did there you go dipper there you go there's your strawberry cake um and yeah now we just need the sandwich so let's go ahead and get the steak let's go ahead and get our baguettes let's go ahead and let's see do we make this yeah just a crafting table again so sandwich and baguette i mean beef and baguette equals sandwich and boom let's put a sandwich in this box let's fill it up you know and, uh, yeah, that's our little picnic. All created, Dipper. I hope you like it. I'm gonna give you a knife. You craft it by using an oak plank and two iron. Now, buddy, if you stab yourself, I'm, I'm gonna be sad. So don't do that. But, uh, yeah, in order to get slices of cake, um, you just... It should say on the, on the, uh, item itself. But, yeah, you just right-click it with a knife. Boom! Look at that! And you get this really cool texture, which, again, you can use for decoration. Really, really nice. And boom. Slice of strawberry cake. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod. No, it's not because I just realized we have this banner, which gives you, it should give you, yeah. So it's, it's given to you as a reward for cooking all the baked goods in the game. And there's a lot, trust me. I don't have enough time in this mod review to go over them all. But there's some really cool food items in here and really unique ways of crafting them. So highly recommend this mod. Um, and yeah, this just gr uh, grants you resistance in a eight block radius. So definitely, definitely really, really good to craft if you want it in your base. And it looks cool. It has a really nice design. Um, so that <laughs> summarizes the mod and that ends the mod review. I hope you all really enjoyed the uh, video today if you want to see more mod reviews i'll have them linked below and in a playlist um but yeah uh comment below if you want me to review any more mods in the future and uh yeah i'm gonna say goodbye yeah. goodbye